Hi there, I'm back and ready to do some wine tasting because I love wine. And today we're going to try a 2022 Fontafreda Brocotondo Langa Arnes on sale right now at the Visa Liquor Store for just $18. Now, Arnes is a white grape from the Piedmont region of Italy. Specifically, most of it is grown either north of Alba in Roero, which is DOCG wine, and in Langa, which is DOC wine. So DOCG is a little bit higher quality than DOC, but that's about the only difference. Lang is famous for its wine and cheese and truffles, and it is a UNESCO heritage area for its winemaking and its agriculture. Many white and red grapes are grown in the Lang area, including, of course, Nebbiolo, but there's a whole bunch of other ones. Fontafreda is a large Italian wine company uh, that started in 1858. Now, not a lot of information about this particular wine on the Fontafreda site, but I did find information at some other places, including uh, the terroir and vintage notes. So there is a 250 uh, acre Fontafreda property in Seralunga d'Alba for possibly some of the grapes were sourced there and there are other uh, vineyards sourced across Langa and Roera with clay marl and calcareous sand soils. So clay and sand. Uh, grapes were harvested at the middle of September. In the winery, the grapes were soft pressed and then fermented in steel tanks. The wine was stored at 41 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid malolactic fermentation. And the wine stayed in the steel tanks for four to five months at this low temperature and left on its fine lees, surly as they say, or basically the dead yeast cells, to increase the aromatic complexity. I've tried an Arnis from the Okanagan uh, recently. I blogged about that in my blog and really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to trying an Arnis from where it actually came from originally, which is the Piedmont region of Italy. So let's try this 2022 Brocotondo Langa Arnis. Just 18 bucks right now. Hmm. Appearance, clear, medium lemon. Nose, clean, medium minus intensity. It did not smell really strongly to me. I got some, some, some sort of floralness that I can't put my finger on. I got some fruit, but not really strong. I got some peach, some apricot, maybe some banana or some gooseberry. Then sort of a minerality, some a little bit of asparagus, and then sort of a bready or doughy sort of uh, aroma to it. But uh, not, not that much. I, was, I didn't think it was overly complex. All right, let's do the palette. So I said dry, medium acidity, uh, medium alcohol, and it's 13%. So yeah, it's medium. Um, I said medium body, almost medium plus body. I stuck with medium body, but it's it's got some nice body to it for a white wine. Uh, I said medium plus intensity of flavor and a medium finish. Honey, for sure. The first thing I tasted was this tastes like honey. Like I, like I, I didn't smell it, but I certainly tasted it. And then uh, lemon and stone fruit. The fruit flavors came out more on the palate than they did on the nose for me. Uh, I got some, some mineralness, some asparagusness, some asparagus again, and uh, some sort of pastry dough. Um, not particularly complex, but um, enjoyable to drink, food friendly. I thought it was the, it had good balance, uh, good length, uh, good intensity, and uh, it wasn't that complex, but that's, that's okay. Um, it's a nice, um, simple wine, so I, I rated it good to very good as well. If you are looking to book a wine tour of the Okanagan for this summer and you're interested in a customizable, flexible, and completely private wine tour with a wine expert in the comfort of your own vehicle, please check out the link below in the comments.